Division for ages 9 to 10. The children will continue to practice all the multiplication tables facts up to 12 times 12, and they will use these in their work on division. So, for example, because 4 times 2 is 8, then 4 times 200 must be 800, 800 divided by 4 must be 200, and indeed 800 divided by 200 must be 4. They will continue to practice dividing two-digit numbers and three-digit numbers by one-digit numbers, and they will extend this work to four-digit numbers using formal written short division. So looking at this question, 84 divided by 2, which could mean split 84 between two people, or it could mean how many twos are there in 84, but both questions can be answered. Using short division, we say how many twos are there in 8? There are 4. How many twos are there in 4? There are 2. So 84 divided by 2 is 42, which means there are 42 twos in 84, or two sets of 42. 294 divided by 3, so 200s, 9 tens, 4 units. First of all, we're going to say how many 3s are there in 2? Well, there aren't any. So we'll have to take the 2 with us to the 9 and say how many 3s are there in 29? 9 threes are 27, which is the closest one below 29. 9 threes are 27, so there's 2 left over, which comes with us next to the 4. How many 3s in 24? There are 8. So the answer is 98. And notice how the 10s are in line and the units are in line, which is why there's nothing there in that space, because there wasn't a number to go there. Now, 1,674 divided by 6. 6 into 1 won't go, so we now have 16. How many 6s in 16? 2, because 2 6s are 12. So there must be 4 left over, because 12 is 4 less than 16. How many sixes in 47? There are seven sixes, because seven sixes are 42. There'll be five left over. How many sixes in 54? Nine. So the answer is 279. And it's good to encourage the children to write these in the correct columns. So there's the hundreds, the tens, and the units. They will begin to work with remainders, fractions, and decimals. For example, working on questions such as 74 divided by 4, they may express the question, as a fraction, 74 over 4 still says 74 divided by 4, but let's find the answer. So 74 divided by 4. How many 4s in 7? There's 1 with 3 left over. How many 4s in 34? Well, 8 4s are 32, but there are 2 left. Now we can express that as a remainder, 18 remainder 2, or we can say, well, there's 18 and 2 quarters left which will simplify to 18 and a half. Or, how many 4s in 7? 1, with 3 left over. How many 4s in 34? 8, with 2 left over. But actually, we can put 74.0 and take the 2 with us into the tenths column. So now, how many 4s in 20? There are 5. So the answer comes out as 18.5. So we've seen three answers to the question. 74 divided by 4. We've seen 18 remainder 2, 18 and a half, and 18.5. The children need to decide which answer to give according to the problem they've been set. So, for example, if the problem was there are 74 children going on four minibuses, how many children will fit on each bus? Well, we could say there'll be 18 children on each bus, but there'll be two children left over. Or if we're dealing with bars of chocolate, there's 74 bars of chocolate to share between four people, then they can have 18 and a half bars each. Or if we're talking about 74 kilometres and dividing that by four, then the answer could be 18.5 kilometres. All three answers to the same mathematical question. The children need to practice. Confidence in knowing how to find the answers is the key to mathematical success.